Welcome back to Witness, a new report that uses government data to paint a national picture of the phenomenon of farmers' suicides. So far, the conventional logic on farmers' suicides is that they occur in wealthier states like Karnataka and Maharashtra, where farming is expensive and farmers grow high-risk cash crops. But the data throws up a surprise finding. High on the suicide list is Madhya Pradesh, a relatively poorer state and not very intensive on cash crops. What does it mean? Does it mean the phenomena is wider than we think? Or is it the reverse? Rubina Khan tries to unravel the Madhya Pradesh mystery. Twenty-two year old Ramchandra used to cultivate wheat on his ten acres of land. In July this year he decided to switch to cash crops for higher returns. He first sowed BT cotton. Three crops, they failed. He then tried red chilies with no luck. As a last ditch effort, he sowed soya bean that too did not flower. By the time it was July, his debt had spiraled from rupees 70,000 to rupees 1.5 lakh. On July 19, he drank pesticide, the first farmer to commit suicide in his village. <laughs> Two months later, in the neighboring district, 29-year-old Bhagwan Singh killed himself. His cotton too had failed to flower, creating a rupee 60,000 bank loan, rupees 50,000 private loan, and an outstanding electricity bill of rupees 15,000. But their names don't feature in the state suicide statistics because according to the state, Bhagwan Singh committed suicide after a fight with his wife and Ram Chandra took his life because he had become mentally unstable. So what we get in the government statistics is just for farmers who have committed suicide between 2004 and 2007 because of debt stress. Though we find at least six farmer suicides covered in the local media for the same period. A contradiction during the same government statistics also says that out of 3,500 suicides registered in the state between 2006 and 2007, 50 were farmers. So even officially, about 46 suicides by farmers in the last one year have not been considered eligible as farmer suicides. According to the Nagaraj report, the increase in farm suicides in Madhya Pradesh over the nine year period 1997 to 2005 is not so high, just at 11%. But the rise in non farmer suicides at 48%, more than four times the increase in farmer suicides. This could imply that many of these general suicides conceal farmer suicides. And it is for lack of numbers, Madhya Pradesh has mostly escaped the media as a farm crisis state. The suicides in the state are concentrated in the five districts of Myanmar region in the west, a region that faces huge power cuts and hence irrigation problems. Since late 80s, farmers here started diversifying into various cash crops, not just for high returns but equally because food crops require more water. But over the last decade, cultivation costs for cash crops have skyrocketed. The intensity of this crisis, however, is available in numbers. In Khargon, 22% farmers are defaulters and not eligible for fresh loans from the government. In Khandwa and Burhanpur, the number of defaulters is 40,000. Khad, Lich, Dawai, Bijli, or Prakati ki maal. Atma hai kisano ki. The trend is alarming. Unable to cope with spiraling debt and high cultivation costs, the farmers in Madhya Pradesh are increasingly committing suicide. But instead of deliberating on what to do to contain it before it becomes another vidarb, the government, it seems, is in a denial mode. Because concealing is more convenient, as owning up would mean taking tough decisions. With Tamar Marizwan Khan, Rubina Khan, Shapu, NDTV.